In this tape, we are going to show you one-on-one. -on -one. Now, before you do one-on-one, -on -one, though, make sure you have mastered tape one. Now, when you are practicing Aikido, attackers, make sure that you go, always go with the energy because it's your energy, and if you resist in the end, then that means that you are going to get hurt. You must, Aikido means harmony, perfect harmony. So, at the beginning, don't worry about speed, don't worry about strength, just technique. So you can practice Aikido very, very safely if you do that. And then as you do it more and more, then speed will come. Power will come. And the thrill of enjoyment will be there. You will notice that in Aikido training, they smile a lot because it's always in harmony. There is no anger. These basic techniques will begin to give you an understanding of how to control your opponent by using ki, which is the essence of Aikido training. Now, you should have studied tape one carefully. After you've mastered all the break falls and the meaning of key, you are now ready for these preparatory exercises. These are very simple but very effective movements in Aikido. They are the techniques of Aikido. Simple evasion, skipping back away from your opponent. You notice in Aikido there are no guards. It's a defensive art. Aikido is an art where you control your opponent. As he comes at you, you skip back, evading his attack. Getting away from his force. Follow Sensei Steve Ota. Master Ota's son. Skipping forward and back. Evading. Hop back. Bring the front foot to the rear. Bring the rear foot to the front. First preparatory exercise of evasion. Now the same exact technique. Skipping away from your opponent's force which is the essence of Aikido, and applying a simple defensive blocking technique. Step back using the palm to redirect your opponent. Skip away from his force, redirect. Very relaxed, in control. Concentrate on your center, your key, your lower abdomen as being the center of power. Look at it from the front. Skip away, defend, and defend. Arms coming forward, which takes your man down to the ground. This will be demonstrated shortly so you understand the movement completely against an opponent. The technique can be used against a front lapel hold. Reversing it to an arm lock, bringing your opponent to the ground. Again, looking at it from the other side. Your opponent is helpless at this point. Evade, skipping back and applying the block. Someone is trying to grab you, punch you, or stab you with a knife. Away from his force, redirect his force downward. This is Aikido. Aikido does not stand direct and hit force with force. It does not believe in this type of fighting. To Aikido there is no fighting. It's harmony. It's defense. Look at how easily your opponent is brought off guard.
Now, using both hands, the skipping motion, and pulling your opponent down off balance. Skipping back, again, away from the force, and redirecting his strike down. Notice how, again, the hands are at the sides, relaxed, in full control. Now the application. The attacker is striking to the temple or head with a punching or open hand shooto technique. The defense. Skip away, reverse arm lock. Do not try to study this technique. It's just to show the movement. These techniques will be broken down very slowly in the next tape. Evade. Again, notice how the opponent is completely off balance. His force is pulled downward. He's helpless. His wrist is secured. Now, Sensei Steve Oda brings him around into an arm lock. Completely controls him to the ground very easily. The following exercise is to thrust both wrists outward in a bent position. Step forward with the left foot and thrust. This is to break a wrist grip and to bring your opponent off balance. Look at it from the side. Lean forward on the front knee. Coordinate your hands at the same time. Relax, shoulders down. Concentrate your center, your key, your lower abdomen into the ground for tremendous power. Coordination of mind and body. Notice his erect posture, his perfect form. Concentrate on your form. Bend the fingers down and towards the forearms. This makes it very difficult for your opponent to control you if he tries to hold your wrist. Concentrate your key. Notice how if he's slapped, he's very strong in his stance. This is how you test your students. Very solid, like a rock. Now the next exercise is raising both hands as you move forward. This defends against any strike to the head. Follow Sensei Oda. Step forward with the left leg. Bend on the knee and raise your palms. Very relaxed. Concentrate your center down, your key, your life force. Coordinate your mind and body. Let the energy flow from your fingertips out into the universe. Notice the strike to the head. This is a very common assault in the street. Someone tries to punch you in the face, strike the top of your head with a club. And Aikido defensive technique. Watch it in slow motion. Raising the hands, applying the simple maneuver he just showed you. Completely controlling his opponent, leading him, directing him. Turning his circular force bringing his opponent, subduing him to the ground. Now, step by step. Again, that head strike comes in. He evades a direct line and raises the arms to protect. He does not meet force with force. Look at how he does it simply. Redirect, controlling his opponent to the ground. Look at it in slow motion. Sidestepping the strike, raising the hands for protection and to counter. Always sidestepping your opponent, never meeting him direct. The force of the strike brings the opponent off balance with little effort. Controlling him, following up. Now, follow Master Oda 
as he does it in eight directions. Very simple. Stepping forward as he steps, he drags the rear foot, keeping good balance, concentrating his center. Simple swinging motion. Now look at it as he does it more slowly. Raise the fingertips and palms upward. They should be head height. Keep the back straight. Step forward, slide the rear foot. Work all directions. You never know what angle you'll be attacked from. These movements are like katas. They're prearranged and they're practiced every day. Now, Sensei Ken Ota is attacked by his father in a demonstration of ki. Master Ken Ota comes in. Sensei Steve Oda raises his hands, applies his key. Look how strong he is in his stance with his upper head protected by both arms. He concentrates his life force, his energy force, down into the ground, making him very solid. Now, if he does not apply his key, he is very weak, as you'll see. He can be knocked down very easily. So key must be applied as explained in tape one. You must understand key, the essence of Aikido. When in a stance, he concentrates his energy down into the ground, the energy flow. He's very hard to move, as you can see. Now, if he doesn't apply key, he's easily knocked off balance. But as his father pushes him and he applies key, he has power. Another preparatory exercise is the lateral movement. Follow along. Cross step from side to side, swinging the palms up. Make your arms heavy and powerful. This type of movement defends against attacks from the side. Cross step. Cross behind as you step. Or shuffle step. Go heel to heel. Now, the application. Let's say someone grabs your wrist. Stepping in, draw your wrist forward, taking him off balance, reverse the force, bring both hands to the side, knocking your opponent to the ground with little effort. Watch again. Off balance, and take advantage of your opponent's weakness. Quickly, down. Completely controlling your opponent's force. Watch carefully. Lateral movement. Continuous circular motion with your arm. Causing your opponent to go off balance and backward. If he grabs both wrists, same technique applies. It's virtually impossible for him to hold on to the wrist. And of course, the idea of Aikido is to never really let someone get a good grip on you. As you can see, Sensei Oda starts his movement before his opponent can grab tightly. Again, testing key. Master Ken Oda makes sure his son is properly set. 
When you have key, you have inner power, tremendous strength. Concentrating his center down. When no key is applied, he is very weak. The next exercise is the swing. Step and swing. This is to learn to completely control and lead your opponent, spinning him around to the ground. Step and turn, swinging the arms as you step. Now watch again, more slowly. Start with the hands, one behind, one in front. Step, arms relaxed, swinging your body, all moving together in one motion. Arms are relaxed. Do not force the spin. Let the body turn naturally. This creates centrifugal force, which will drive your opponent off balance. This movement is especially important when fighting multiple attackers, as shown in tape six. Spin. Spins behind his opponent, spins back, taking him to the ground. Showing the application, completely directing, controlling. It's very hard to hold on to a spinning object. It's like a spinning top. It creates tremendous centrifugal force and circular motion. Watch slowly. Spin. This is the same exercise he just did solo. With little effort, the opponent is brought to the ground. Step by step. Spin, directing, controlling. Now the full movement, directing, controlling, and bringing him down. Again, checking key. When key is applied, the technique is correct. Concentrate on your center, two inches below your lower abdomen, as explained on tape one. This is your life force. This is the essence of Aikido. Relaxed, with no key, he easily is knocked over. This is no good. This is what you don't want to do. The next exercise is a defensive move against a rear attack. You step forward, leaning your shoulder down. This throws your opponent off balance and over your shoulder. Follow along with Sensei Steve Oda. Step forward with the left foot and turn downward. Tilt forward. Keep both arms out. Elbows slightly bent. Attacker grabs. Step lean. And he's completely off balance. Remember, you're not just stepping, you're concentrating your center, your key, your eternal power, down towards the ground. Of course, key takes many years to develop, but you must think about it in every movement of Aikido. And after a while, it just becomes natural. Another defensive posture against the rear attack. Again, practice these exercises alone. It's like shadow boxing. Concentrate on your form, proper movement. Step out and tilt forward. Watch the front view. 
raise your arms. This draws your opponent off balance and brings him over your shoulder and down. Remember, he's attacking you by grabbing your wrist. Step forward with the left foot. Concentrate your key, your body weight down. Draw up, loosen his grip, and send him forward, falling. Look at it again. Assailant grabs up, body weight down, and he's totally disoriented. He doesn't know where you went. Raise the wrist, turn the fingers down towards the forearms. Relax, yet generating internal power. Body weight down, and he's over. Now, some very basic one-on-one -on -one defensive techniques. This will introduce you into working with an opponent, an assailant. The first will be stationary movements, showing the fundamental wrist blocking and locking techniques of Aikido. Simple lapel grab defense. Turn his palm sideways. With both hands lean on the wrist, this will inflict tremendous pain on your opponent. But the idea is, in Aikido, never let someone grab you. Start your movement before he can get a firm grip on you. With your left hand, grab the back of his hand and turn it. With the hand sideways, add leverage with your right hand. Simply bend his hand downward. Now, defense against a simple wrist hold. As he holds your right arm, take your left arm. Secure the top of his hand. Now, with your right palm, turn it in. Grab his forearm. Now, with your right hand, hold. Watch carefully and drive him down. Concentrate your key, your power down. Very devastating wrist lock. Only apply enough pressure needed to subdue your opponent. Let's look at another basic technique. As he grabs your lapel with your left arm, Twist his palm to the ceiling, securing his hand with both your hands. Now, he's in a very bad position. He's helpless. If he resists, apply more pressure, simply bending his hand forward to the forearm. Now, a demonstration of a very basic arm locking technique or elbow breaking technique. Reverse his wrist hold. Simply apply pressure up into the elbow. Now, when someone does grab your wrist, you don't want to struggle and use a lot of force. Aikido does not train this way. You find a very easy circular motion to release his pressure. In other words, fight in a relaxed state. Do not go strength against strength. To break this wrist lock, Simply step out. Notice how your opponent has gone off balance. And drive him over. Again, this is wrong. The way Master Oda is struggling, he's showing the wrong way to do it. Most people would struggle this way, trying to pull straight down and away. If you do this, your opponent remains strong. But by raising, he's off balance. Quick downward motion, and he's sent to the canvas. Aikido uses the opponent's strength against him. Raise. The first point is to bring him off balance. Use your force to drive him over and down. You control your opponent. Again, not struggling. Not exerting a lot of force. This is wrong. Flow with him. He grabs. Make him flow. Change pace, drop him to the ground. 
you see how the motion of your arms, the flow of your energy, directs your opponent. He thinks he's going to grab your wrist. You reverse it. He's totally confused. He protects his head, and he's dropped to the ground, and he doesn't know what happened. This is Aikido, circular motion. Again, no struggling. This is totally wrong. Do not exert such energy. In Aikido, relaxing, pointing, directing his force, your force, into the universe. Beyond the body, beyond leading your opponent. You must remember, as an attacker grabs you, as you move, he's going to grab tighter because he wants to hold on. But to his surprise, he doesn't know what's happening to him. Aikido takes advantage of this because an Aikido stylist knows what to do with the power he has. He knows how to direct and take the opponent down. In this situation, most people would struggle fiercely, start punching, panic. Aikido man relaxes. He virtually makes a fool of his assailant. Aikido is a very beautiful and effective art. This is a typical stiff arm head block. This is alien to the Aikido stylist. This is alien to the theory and technique of Aikido. Aikido, instead of meeting that strike force to force, he swings away, drives the opponent off balance. Watch, very simply. The opponent is ready to fall. Not force on force. Redirect. These are the basic theory techniques of Aikido. It's very important that you understand these for your next videos, the more advanced techniques. You want to bring your opponent off balance, redirect, holding his wrist. Now you can do whatever he, you want to him. He follows up, reverse arm lock, underneath and down. Skips away, basic technique shown earlier, goes underneath, directs his opponent to the ground. Again, not struggling, not strength against strength. This is wrong. Taking that force, direct, pointing. Points the direction that he's going to take his assailant. Again, your partner must flow with you to avoid injury. Harmony. Working together, not in anger, but in peace and harmony. Directing the opponent quickly, taking him down. Subduing him with a wrist hold. Watch carefully. <clears throat> Directing his force. Master Oda diverts his energy into the flow of the universe. Everything flows. Nothing is choppy and short and direct. After his opponent hits the ground, controls him, turning him in, and applying a wrist lock. In Aikido, the technique is to only apply enough pressure to subdue your opponent. No more. No excessive force. Rear attack. Struggling is wrong. Try applying these theories to your techniques. Notice a tremendous difference. Instead, he relaxes. Look at how relaxed his wrists are. Twist and down. Relaxed, concentrating his center, his key downward, controlling his opponent, twisting, smashing him to the mat. That's why it's very vital that you Master your breakfalls and rolling techniques. In Aikido, you hit the mat many times. 
Watch in slow motion. Defense against the rear attack. Aikido is all defense. Aikido never attacks. It is not in the Aikidoist character. Here we have the old sucker punch. Guy shakes your hand, punches at your face. Watch how an Aikido stylist will defend himself. Stepping away from the force, not even blocking, and taking him down. Look at it again. Shakes hands, avoids the punch, drives him off balance, and flips. In slow motion, watch carefully. That's the last sucker punch he'll ever throw. Another demonstration to understand the theory behind Aikido. Using a dumbbell, Master Oda will show how easy it is to take someone much bigger and stronger than you off balance with little effort. When the limb is extended, the arm is extended with the dumbbell, the student cannot hold it up if it's even, even pushed down with one finger. But if he kept it tight to his shoulder, he can hold it there all day. So Master Oda is showing that by directing the force out and down, no matter how big the opponent, they will succumb. Look at it again. Taking the limb out and down, he loses his balance. Now watch. As he tries to grab, redirect his force, taking him down, applying a wrist lock. The opponent is totally helpless. Now let's study this technique closely. Practice. Even if you don't have an opponent, go through it step by step. Use your imagination. Imagine you're the master. Be his shadow. Grab the hand. Twist. Stepping forward. Get over your opponent. Hold the shoulder down. And apply pressure to the wrist. You notice the student slaps the mat. Whenever a student slaps the mat, he feels the pressure and that's when you know to let up. Notice how the hand was grabbed. Twist the palm up to the ceiling or the sky. Secure the shoulder with your left arm. Simply step forward, driving him to the mat. Notice how the wrist is stretched in. Very painful. This is a very basic, simple technique. The first formal one you are going to learn. Simple skip away, grab that lead hand, turn the arm around, stepping forward twice, driving him to the ground, step over your opponent, and subdue him. Apply the wrist lock. Be very, very careful when you practice with someone. Next technique. Master Oda goes underneath, taking him down, applying a wrist and elbow lock. Again, blocking a strike to the head, a lapel hold, maybe a knife stab. Grab that lead hand, both hands. Turn around, go underneath. Brings him straight down, putting the back of his hand on the mat. The opponent is helpless. This is Aikido. Using one's force against themselves. Look at how easy he controls this big opponent. Strength is not as important as technique. You don't have to be big and strong to defend yourself in Aikido. That's why men and women and very young children can enjoy this art. 
It's a wonderful defensive art, and it builds character. Very positive, life-building art. Watch the technique again in slow motion. This could be happening to you someday. You're being assaulted. What do you do? With the confidence of Aikido training, you can defend yourself against any type of assault. Of course, you're not going to be an expert overnight, but through diligent practice, you can become a formidable force. Now, this technique is against a strike to the top of the head. Let's look at it again. Using the preparatory exercise of the head blocking, he sidesteps, avoids the strike, controls the opponent's arm with the left hand, grabs the head. Now the right arm comes across the face, driving the opponent back and down, grabbing his arm and applying a wrist lock. You must play these techniques over and over. Study them daily, visually and physically. Be the master shadow. Follow him. Do every move he does. Notice how he breaks it down step by step. What can your opponent do now? He's helpless. Sidestep, blocking, continue the motion, bring him down. Keep your center, keep your inner power, keep your key concentrated. Control him with all your energy and life force. Again, fast, quickly. Notice the circular movements. The opponent doesn't have a chance. He doesn't know what's happening to him. Watch it slowly. Avoid. Control. Keep your center. Grab the arm. If he's a very aggressive opponent, you may have to add this technique. If you feel he's going to get up again, and keep assaulting you. You may have to hold him until the police come or until he just gives up. Now, a very basic technique against a rear chokehold. Look at it again. Turn your wrist, twisting it, making it very hard to hold. Grab his palm. Apply pressure to the back of his hand. Raise the arm up high. Now, drive your force forward, sending him over on his back. Again, if he resists, his wrist will be broken. That's why in training, you must have harmony. Work together. Flow with the technique. Don't try and be a tough guy and say, well, if I don't move or I do this, he can't do the technique. He'll do an alternate technique, and you'll get hurt more. This is what you must understand about Aikido. If you don't flow, you can severely injure yourself. Notice how loose his hand is. Breaks the wrist hole, circular motion. Begins his centrifugal force. The opponent must flow. Now, a rear attack with the knife at the throat. Very simple. First, hold the knife hand to control the strength of the opponent, going underneath, using his own force against himself, stabbing into the midsection. Secure the wrist. Twist, driving it in.
break the wrist hold, create the motion, simply turn the technique around. Very, very simple and effective technique. Shows what Aikido is all about, using one's force against himself. As the opponent tries to punch at the face, skip back from the force. This drives him off balance, jump behind, slamming him to the ground, making a fool out of the opponent. This is very intimidating, breaking his confidence. Now what would you do? Get up and try it again? Slowly, step behind. You have full control of your opponent. And drive him down. You actually make him beat himself. Whenever you hit the ground, you lose confidence. It's very intimidating. Being on the ground is a feeling of helplessness. Grab. Use your body weight, jumping back. Drive your key down. Gives you tremendous strength to bring your opponent back. Now, a rear arm lock is a very common hold. Watch the escape. Watch the counter. Circular motion. Very simple but effective move. Again, applying the wrist lock. Now, follow the master. He steps around, concentrating his body weight down, reverses the grip. The opponent is twisted and confused in his stance. He is easily brought to the ground. If you struggled and stood in one spot, you could never do a technique like this. So easily he falls. This is Aikido, circular motions, constant movement. Quickly. Watch it in slow motion. As the master moves, the opponent grabs tighter, hoping to control him. But it just doesn't work. Master reverses the grip, causes the confusion and off balance of the opponent. He steps forward and down, and his key, inner strength, inner power, brings the opponent to the mat. We hope you have enjoyed Tape 2. You are now ready for Master Odo's Aikido Tape 3, the intermediate one-on-one -on -one techniques. It is vital that you have learned Tape 1 and 2 before you attempt Tape 3. But Tape 3 is very exciting. You get into some of the techniques that are going to require the very advanced break-falling and rolling techniques. Best of luck. Working together, not in anger, but in peace and harmony.